one on a car guy, one on a car guy.com. And this is going to be a hard one in between walking back far enough to not see my shadow and being close enough to see exactly what I want to show you. This is an absolutely beautiful car. It is a 1979 California Daytona Spider. Uh, it's actually the supposed to be whatever 60s model of a Ferrari. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's definitely the Daytona Spider Ferrari thing. And this is a McBurney edition. This was the first Miami Vice car. And this one here, he offered him in a kit and everything, and he was the most renowned maker of these kits. And um, this is not a kit. This is a factory-ordered, factory-produced car. It's in great shape. Uh, my friend ordered this car. Um, and I think it was a four-year process getting it made and everything. <clears throat> um, this is number 79 of 79. And it was the last one that they rolled off the floor there. I talked to Tom McBurney, who is the maker, and he said he has one more he's tinkering on and stuff, but this is the the last of it right here. And this is likely the nicest one you are going to find. I was blown away. I've put my hands on very many of these in my life. And I'll tell you what, this one was factory built. It wasn't built in somebody's backyard and it's all whatever. This is the Shiznik. And the man that owned it, he was very meticulous. He actually has a BMW 840ci I'm selling. Kind of the same front end. In fact, he made about three rings for me. Yeah, that one made like Elvis's. Okay, so going around this car, I'm going to do an outside kind of a review, show you any damage, dings, dents, stuff like that. Dings and dents are kind of non-existent. It's fibroglass. And one thing about this, I bought the rights to the Riot um, car from him. And part of the deal was he's trained me to do fiberglass. So I did get to learn to do fiberglass from him. And with that in mind, I know for a fact this is all hand-laid fiberglass. Um, the paint on it is real Ferrari paint. Um, that's all there is to it. He uses the German, or whatever it is there. Is it Italian or German? I don't know. I know I had to buy that for my Riot because he won't spray anything else but that. So, looking at this thing up close, you really can never see any damage unless you really start looking. Right there. Like he touched up something. And my hands are filthy. I've been scrubbing and washing and tinkering on my Mercedes all day. These lights are beautiful. There's a couple chips right there. And right here. Little marks there. Tiny. The hydraulic lights and everything work. <clears throat> Going across and up the hood is beautiful. A little tiny scuff a doodle doo right there. And on this tire wheel, you got a little bit of curb rash. You could regrind it if you wanted. It's in great shape. Uh, the innards, like in here, it's losing a little bit of its whatever over time. Um, watermark on it. It's in great shape, shiny as can be. The chrome's beautiful, the casting's beautiful. It is casted, McBurney. Um, this one, the guy ordered every possible option. Uh, wheel wells, just nice as it gets. Hope you can see that with my low level light adjustment. I'll show you underneath here. While I'm down and out here. Oh, man. Over the last five years I've been doing this, it's got harder and harder to do. That's beautiful. A couple little chips down here. And a couple little things on it right here. Underneath it, as you can see, it's clean as can be. There's only 5,300 or 5,800 original miles on this car. Original miles meaning since he redid it. Uh, a little bit of patina on it and stuff. Nothing all rusted under here. It's clean as can be. The guy redid it all. It's done in 96, I believe. So, that's that. I'm going to show you underneath it on the sides here. A few chips right there. As you can see, and guaranteed that's been thrown up from right here. Needs mud flaps on it almost. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. Seriously, this thing is so clean, and I've had such a blast driving it around these past few weeks. I want to buy it myself. Seriously, frame and everything's tight. Might be a little bit of oil sitting on this or that. 
but it's clean as can be and it's not a leaking all over or nothing like that. Um, so that's about what I can show you on this end of it. Under the back. My camera's probably getting hot. These had a um, fiberglass back spring added, or graphite, whatever it is, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, there we go, that's what it was. Um, everything here has been redone underneath this car for sure. This is still an assembly seal on the middle of that. And like I say, my camera is probably gonna overheat on me. This thing rides nice. I love the tips on this. The whole thing is just redone, as nice as can be. Um, show you these lights here. Just absolutely beautiful. And I'm not gonna show the interior right now because basically the interior on it, um, it's just a little bit too bright out to show that interior. Um, you get the differences of light in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep going with the outside. There's just a couple rub marks, like right there, and yes, my hands are filthy, I've been scrubbing all day, and right here. And I'm sure you might find a little tiny something else on it, like there's a chip there I didn't show. And right here and here, and I'm being very picky, but I like to show every possible thing on it. Um, like there's a tiny chip there. Actually, that is, wish I had my, I got my t-shirt inside of that. That one won't chip. There's just a little something on it. Same with that, maybe. Clean as can be, everything on it is just, I want to get the up close to show you any little minor. See, this side ain't got it as bad, but there is a couple chips right there that I just want to be up front, disclose. I mean, you're looking from a long ways away, and I want you to be able to see anything on it. There's a couple specks here. Um, I don't know if it was some kind of something next to it, it doesn't feel like the paint is uneven or nothing like that. But there is some specks on it right here that I don't know about. Right in that general area. Right there. Um, that's just wax from a long time ago, I think, because we didn't wax it. So that one's just wax. Little scuff mark, right? Is that just... That's just wax? No? Come on, I don't know. Yeah, that's, let's call that a scuff, just to where we're sure. Yes, I'm sorry, I know I've apologized about my hands, but I just can't keep them clean in between working on six cars. Okay, this here. I All right, I really have no idea where my battery ended, but I went and got some, a little bit of polish on my rag. And I rubbed it on these, and as you can tell, they're mostly gone. Um, I'll show you on a pot, spot, a pot, a spot that's very populated with them. You can see them there, and they come right off. In fact, I'm going to keep going on this, and you can see it's just something that got spread up the side of it. It's almost like water, even the deeper ones. They come right off. It's not deeper, I'm talking um, more profound. I don't know. All I know is it wipes off. You can see a couple specks there. Yeah, buddy. So, whatever. That is not chipped up. That is just the way it is. Now, these are faded a little bit. Not faded, I don't know what to say. They're just the way they are. They're not exactly shiny, shiny, shiny. Um, these are nice shape. As you can see, they got a couple spots on them there. There too. It's in great shape. Did I show you under here? I think I did, because I remember showing the fiberglass rear spring and everything. Hopefully I did. I don't know, let's see. Fiberglass, carbon fiber, because I remember trying to gobble that up and say it. Now it's dusty under here. The car has only went 5,300 miles. And there's just some miscellaneous little things on the car that aren't exactly perfect. Like there's a little spot there. And look at this. A little chip in it right there. You see that? 
little dimple there. And there's a couple like that up here. I want to start up here now. See right there. And then right here. Looks like almost maybe a wrench was closed in there or something. There's a couple chips you can see on the bottom of it. And just a little a couple half moons. Up into it there, right in that area. A couple tiny insignificant rock chips. Here and there. Nothing serious. In fact, some of this is just something that's on it. Yep, that's gone. That one's gone, so half of it is just proper cleaning. Okay, well that's the the once around, the twice around. I'm gonna keep going down this side, make sure I don't miss nothing. And there's a couple spots there. Same thing though, I gotta kinda check for ya. <laughs> They just came right off. It's not even a spot at all. Same thing with most stuff on this car. It's not spotted. It's just got something on the paint. See, that looks like there's a little, it was a hair. This right here. A little teeny mark there that would buff out. Maybe a chip here. See, I wanna... Nope, it came right off. So, might be a chip there. Yep, that came right off too. That one, there's a little mark. It looks like he almost touched it up. Just nice as can be. It's a lot of dogs. Yeah. <laughs> They seem to do what you're told and stay pretty close. That's pretty neat. Oh, it was great. It was just awesome. Because on the other side of that hill, there are trails all over. Oh, really? There's actually trails up there? Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. I haven't been up, I haven't been up there ever. I've been here for four years taking this place. There's no safe place to walk. There's wild dogs, you know? Wild dogs. <laughs> That's mine up there. You can hear mine barking because she knows I'm here. Oh, really? Yeah. I take pictures and selling them. Thank you. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Nice people. Strawberry Bond. Like a Nancy Drew. Look at them little puppies. They're cute. I don't even know what kind they are. I like little dogs. Breeder's a little dog. And that's that. We have went around the car. We're not going to get into the Strawberry Bond review. We're going to stay on the Ferrari car. And this is a nice car. Um, another couple little... There's a mark right there. And part of it in the seams there is... Um, oh, and that, that little... See that? little split in the paint right there. You can see it. And other than that... Clean as can be. See, there's still dust on it. It's hard to get this thing all ready for everything myself. And I had a little help here in the last couple days. It's been really nice. Um, I think I've shown it all, man. I don't think there's much else to show. This car is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna do another walk around with the top down and take some pictures of the interior here when the sun drops down. And I don't know much else, but it is just an absolutely beautiful car. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Uh, one other place I want to show you the chips. I'm going to go ahead and take this up to the house. And this isn't a bad area, it just rubs a little. Probably needs a little adjustment. Right there, and right there. I hate that. And if you pick up, right there it's rubbing. And if you pick up on the window just a teeny bit, just a teeny bit, it does great. When you close it. Or on the door handle. Really it needs to be adjusted to where it um, doesn't rub. I'll do another video with a
Little dogs everywhere. Lots of little dogs. breeder. She knows I'm back. She's like, oh god. I didn't know if he's ever going to come back. I'm like, I was so worried and like, stuff like that. Okay. This is where I'm going to put this for now. It's okay, girl. I'm going to go get some more when it gets a little darker here. Just like... What's wrong? She just has to have attention. Okay, I'm gonna show you this in the shade. Then I'm gonna take a picture in the shade. And the stuff. Sorry, I had that out of level. There. Absolutely beautiful car. Absolutely loud beagle. And you'll see the other video. It'll be a nighttime video with a top down. I'll show the interior and under the hood and all that. Thanks for watching. Have a great breeder. Stop it. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. Got that one too. You can see it on my website, oneownercarguy.com. That Jag was just on the cover of Auto Week magazine. And I got W140s like crazy. There's a CLK 550. The Beagle's not for sale. There's a, yeah, this thing. And there's a grand, yeah, look at my website. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.